Hello everybody. This is about a lighting system I've been experimenting with and I'm Dr. Kevin Novak, the inventor of the anoxic filtration system. I'm an ichthyologist and limnologist and I deal in aquatic microbiology. One thing I like to do is experiment like I do ponds with aquarium and this is one thing I experiment with aquarium lighting. Long ago, the only lighting we had available to us was T5, T8 lamps, or metal halide lamps. The metal halide lamps were very, very bright. I have a 400 watt one, extremely bright, but used a lot of electricity and got extremely hot. And it could heat up your fish tank or heat up your room that it was in, but this is all we had available to us. Today we have more modern lighting if you want to call it that and that is the LED lights and there are, everybody now makes LED aquarium lights and they're very expensive but one company makes a very good aquarium light that I would have to say is excellent and that is Kessel a division of Daikon and Kessel has really made some nice pendant lights and there's no question that these are probably the best lights out there you can buy and they compete very, very competitively with the old metal halide lights of what we used to use 25, 30 years ago. They use a magnification system, adjustable light output, and they achieve a very high watermark that others try to achieve but just can't, especially if you have a strip light. They are very compact. That's the good thing about them. They're a very compact fixture and allow easy access because they, to the aquarium because they sit above the aquarium at least 10 inches above the aquarium. So if you do have a glass lid, you could pull it off, you could do your water changes, you could still see in the tank, you can arrange the tank, you still have lighting. Where the strip lights, where you, know, you had to pull them off if you had a glass slid because they'd sit on the glass slit. Now you can't see in the tank when you're doing a water change or when you're trying to organize. It was is really a pain. So these new lights, these pendant lights, as they're called, they really do a very good job hanging above the aquarium and therefore I like them because of that fact. And they don't get hot. And they they have a, the Kessel lights have a fan in them that keep them cooler because LEDs do get hot. If you touch the top of an LED, they do get warm. But uh, the Kessel lights have solved that problem with uh, fans. But the only problem is that I've seen a lot of reviews that are all very, very, you know, wow, these are great. These are the best lights out there. But then they try to justify the cost, which is very expensive. To the number of LEDs and try to convince hobbyists that yeah it's cheap compared to the number of LEDs you're getting. Well you know that's a little too rich for my blood these lights are. In fact I did some internet researching for these lights and as much as I like them the cheapest I can find them for is $239 for the Tuna Sun and $399 for the what they call the Amazon Sun which is the bigger one. And most people use the bigger one. Then if you add one of the Kessel A series gooseneck neck mounts, it's 39 bucks. That's the cheapest I can find it. And of course, if you're like me, live in a state where you have to pay your state taxes for internet sales, ours is 10%, add 10% onto that, and you're talking $305 for one light to put over your tank. And remember, this light's only good for a 24 by 24 aquarium. That's it. If you have a tank that's bigger than that, like the tank that you're looking at here, this particular tank is 27 inches. One Kessel light is not going to be enough. Therefore, you're going to need two, like you see in this photo, because this is 27 inches. And then that starts adding up to be what 611 bucks for two of those lights you know that's absolutely ridiculous and especially if you turn around and have a 55 gallon aquarium uh how many of these you're going to need you're going to need what at least two or three of them 
and I see a lot of videos with the people, at least three of them or four of them. No, that's, that's getting way out of hand. But anyhow, getting to my point, after experimenting with all kinds of different modern lights today, I didn't like the strip lights at all. What I found is a light bulb, that's right, a light bulb that can sit into a already light fixture, any light fixture. And what they're called is bright sticks. They're made by GE. They sell them at any hardware store. They sell them at Myers, And they are called uh, Bright Stick BC Globe Daylight. 6500K at 1500 luminous of light output. Now, that is as is. They have a cap on them. They sell them in sets of two. And they cost about 16 bucks a pair. And what you do is you take that end cap and you can pull it off pry it off or you can cut it about a quarter of an inch away from the base that will expose the 24 LEDs that are high output inside of there. They are laid out in groups of six around the circumference of, the, of that particular ID and they are extremely bright. In fact I measured them and they measure over 5,000 uh, lux compared to the 1500 that the manufacturer claims. But the 1500 is probably because they're being diffused with that end cap. Without the end cap, they're over 5000, which is extremely bright and equal to a Kessel light. Now the one thing about these bright sticks is they have a 6500K, but the color that they render is more, to me, of a daylight. In other words, more sunlight, like at high noon. The Kessel lights seem to have a little yellowish tint to me, yellowish green tint. That is not daylight. Believe me, as an ichthyologist, I've been all over looking at fish in different bodies of water and in their natural habit. And when the sun's at high noon and it's clear, like ponds are clear or something like that, this is, this is the kind of light that these lights give off, the bright sticks just like real sunlight. The, where the Kessels, they're not quite, to me and my eye, no, they're not, they're not quite looking like a, like a high noon daylight light. They look like they're a little diffused of some way. They don't quite render, even though they're at 6,000K, but I found out that the LEDs may be rated the same. Like you could have two LEDs at 6,000K, but really, the way the light looks to the human eye is different. In fact, that was proven in some videos on YouTube that even though they say they're 6,000 or 6,500K, they don't look the same in a room. So these bright sticks are absolutely what you're going to see if you got direct sunlight in your tank. But another thing about these bright sticks, they are so extremely bright. Like on my tank, there's uh, you're using, what, 48 LEDs? And these things make the shimmer effect, just like a hell I did or just like the Kessels did. They make that shimmering effect at the bottom. As long as your top of your tank is being agitated, it will do it. Another thing I notice is photosynthesis of your plant has really, really been increased, especially if you're using CO2. And believe me, I've been growing plants for over 30 years now. And the profuse bubbles that these plants are making is unbelievable with this particular light because it is just so extremely bright like sunlight. Even the Anubias that's in the background, I've had that about six months and I grew it under different lights. It didn't do real well. It was very, very slow growing. I put it in this tank under these lights with some CO2 and now it's grown about two, two leaves a week, new roots, everything. It has lots and lots of what they call purling bubbles underneath the Anubias. It seems to be doing quite well under very bright light. A lot of people say, oh, they take dim light. Now this Anubias, is, it's doing great under very bright light. But don't forget, this is more like sunlight. So plants react different to different Kelvin degrees, yes, but they act different to how that light is presented to them. And this particular light from all the experiments I have tried really does well with quite a few plants if you're using 
seal two maybe it's a little too strong if you're not using seal two then you may get algae problems but from what i've seen it works just great so for the price uh you can do a let's see a 24 by 24 by 24 with what they call a uh, zoomed combo deep dome lamp fixture mini you can actually do a tank of 60 gallons like that for $54. That's pretty cheap. This tank with the fixtures I have was about 70 bucks, which is cheap. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you learned something. If you have any comments, put them down there. And thank you for watching.